Hello, and welcome to our annual CTE Awards Ceremony. Tonight's event has been a collaboration of students, teachers, and administrators. I want to say a big thank you to Isabella Vidal, Mr. Bartosik, and all the staff at KCC for making this happen. Students, when we started the year, and throughout the year, we have talked about our core values and how important they are for your life. It's my fervent hope that you have internalized them and will live by them as you move into life after high school. Our core value of service is defined as contributing to the safety and welfare of others, our school, and our community. Our transition to virtual events like this are consistent with this core value. We truly value your safety and that of your family. Our core value of responsibility led us to ensure that we recognize you for all of your accomplishments. So I hope you enjoy this ceremony and celebrate with your teachers and your peers all of this year's success. Students, we've spent much of the year talking about being prepared and competitive, and tonight we are celebrating you for reaching this milestone. Congratulations on earning an industry-recognized certification. This is a significant accomplishment that will give you a competitive advantage in your future. I also want to remind you about our guest speaker, John Paul Gonzalez, who asked us to be all in. Many of you have clearly demonstrated this, and I want to encourage you to stay focused and be committed to the goals you have set for yourself. Have goals, have a plan, work that plan. Stay committed and be all in. Students, I love you, and I'm so proud of you for all of your hard work this year. I'm even prouder of you for the people you are and the way you act with our core values. Congratulations. Hey seniors, today is a turning point in each of our lives. Uh, we have spent the past years wandering the halls of this great school. We have learned, laughed, loved, and most of all matured together. Today does not just concern reminiscing about the past, it is also about looking towards the future. We have gained knowledge and skills that will keep us prepared and competitive for whatever path we may choose. These uncertain times are like nothing we've faced before. The class of 2020 has shown that we are ready for whatever life throws at us and we will overcome and adapt. I pray that you will be successful and remember the lessons you've learned from the teachers and friends here at the KCC. Class of 2020, we are so proud of your accomplishments, especially in career and technical education. Your decision to engage in career and technical education and earn an industry-recognized certification is one major step in becoming prepared and competitive in today's workforce. Continue to apply the same work ethic and determination in all areas of your life. While we are closing out the school year with some uncertainty about the effects of COVID-19, we are quite certain about this. You are amazing and resilient. We cannot wait to see what you do next. Know that we are thinking of you often and praying for you always. Congratulations on a job well done. Hello, Class of 2020. I'm Isabella Vidal, a Navy production student. Never would I have imagined the impact joining the school would have on my life back when I was a sophomore. I also never would have thought I was getting myself into a film and television-based class unlike the music production class my counselors had promised AV to be. Yet this misunderstanding bloomed into a window of opportunity. I bonded with my peers in AV over time and was able to collaborate together to produce work for clients, the Career Center, and ourselves as well that I am proud to call our own. We've all forged friendships together and have been able to accomplish skills we never thought possible previously. And I'm sure we've all encountered Mr. Excuse me, Dr. Porterfield at least once as he roams the halls somehow knowing your name. Although our 2020 vision couldn't spot the unfortunate time that came to be, we will still remain one of the strongest and most talented individuals this world has yet to see. Rather than dwell on the adversity we face today, recall the memories we've made here at the Career Center together. Recall the first time you entered your department filled with wonder. Recall the times you made your closest companions and all the laughs you shared together. And recall the passion and thrill you felt as you advanced through the skills of your trade. Remember, Class of 2020, you are not alone. So recall the happiness we shared here together at the Career Center and look forward towards our successful future. 
Thank you and stay positive. First, I want to congratulate you. Yes, you. This year was not like any other year, and you'll be able to look back and say you fought through hard times, and you came out victorious, and that you had the longest spring break in history. But in all seriousness, your parents, teachers, neighbors, and fellow students are all behind you, willing you forward towards the finish line. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation. Wishing you a happy and successful future. Congratulations to you guys. I know you're going to go on to do amazing things. Congratulations. You inspire. Haiti, 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 it's the scholarship lady. Congratulations on accomplishing great things. wanted to say a big congratulation. Good luck, we miss you and we're proud of you. Congratulations class of 2020. We're so proud of you. The CBA certifications, this is an industry-based certification. So this is something that is um, a certification that can be used in jobs, it can be used towards vet school, can be used for many things. It's an actual industry-based certification by the state of Texas, uh, particularly the Texas Veterinary Medical um, Association. Okay, so this year, uh, these are the, go ahead. Sorry, this year we still have um, one more testing day, um, but so far, these are your CVA recipients. So Emily Anderson, Mary Angelique Aurora Ru Ruiz, uh, Curtis Barnum, Beatrice Banker, Julia Bravo, Amber Brown, Christina Bry Bryant, Brianna Castro, Amaria Clark, Ashanti Cole, Janaya Davis Scott, Tiger Lily Dickey, Ad Adelaisha Dykes, Janaya Goldston, Michaela Harvey, Isabella Kankelfitz, uh, Victoria Wanievsky, um, Lyric Mayfield, Kylie O'Brien Dutton, and Andrea Rubottom, Benicia Rivera, Irving Rivera Rosa, Ty Tedder, Anaya Williams, Presley Winstead, and Roberto Zuniga Silva. Those are all of your uh, CBA. So. so we're gonna clap for you. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. And uh, all of my all the seniors out there, I want you to kiss your brains. Come on, kiss your brains. Let me see you kiss your brains because that's awesome work. Good job, guys. All right. I fell in love with that kiss your brain thing when with my daughter. She's in second grade and her teacher does that all the time. So I love it. Okay. The green hand degree. Can you see the green hands? Hold on. No, you have to do the screen. Yeah, there you go. If I do that, does that work? Yes. How about if I just do this? Is that better? Um, I don't know the difference. Okay. <laughs> It's better for me. Go uh, ahead. These are your green hand degrees for this year. We're not going to read off all these names. We'll just let you look at the screen. But if you were a first year FFA student and participated in um, whatever it was in your class program or through the FFA membership uh, meetings, I'm sorry, then um, you received your green hand degree. So very big round of applause for all of our green hand degrees. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, so next is our chapter degrees. Same kind of thing. Um, you wanna go ahead and talk about those? Yeah, it's not showing up. It's not showing up. I there it is. Okay. Um, chapter degrees, this is a little more in depth, so this is your second, at least your second year in FFA. Um, it also requires 10 hours of community service. It also requires you to um, have, I think, at least either 45 or 100 hours of your SAE entered in. Um, and so this chapter degree is really something that um, is earned, okay? So it's not just your first year in and your part participating this is something you are earning because it's in your 
uh, SAE, your Supervised Agricultural Experience. So a big round of applause to these chapter degrees. Yay, very good, very good. So congratulations to those children. Okay. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the next set of awards that you're going to be seeing. Um, the Star Awards and the Proficiency Awards were all of um, their awards that have to be completed in AET record books. Um, typically, the Star Awards are in four different categories. We had uh, students who competed in three of those categories. Um, when you uh, look at this, this is based off of their, either their chapter degree or their Lone Star degree in a particular area. And it basically means they are competing against other people uh, with the same types of SAE projects um, and they're judged. And when you look at this list, uh, you'll see that Star Agriculture Production, we had a chapter and a Lone Star um, applicant. Our chapter, um, chapter star in ag production was Armando Molina, and he also was the district star in ag production. And that means that um, not only did he win our chapter, but he won the district as well. Uh, our, Lone star in, um, our Lone Star star in ag production was Stella Harris. Um, our star, in, yay, our star in ag business chap, excuse me, chapter was Beatrice Binker. Uh, Beatrice was uh, the district winner uh, and also the area winner and is currently in the process of advancing to state. So that is really awesome for Beatrice. Oh, woo! Yes, woo -woo, you're exactly right. Um, if you look at the star in placement, our, our chapter winner for star placement was uh, Michelle Suchil. And... Woo. Very good. And our lone star in placement, uh, star placement, was Tiger Lily Dickey. And if you look, you'll see Tiger not only won district, but she won the area as well and is currently um, advancing to the state contest. So give everybody in this a big round of applause. <laughs> this is awesome, awesome work. We're so excited. And as soon as we find out if these young ladies win the state level, um, or if they're finalists, we will post it in the Remind and on our Facebook page, and we'll let you know how that goes. So congratulations, kids. Um, so with that, the Lone Star degrees. The Lone Star degrees are a culmination of a minimum of three That's years. Going up, Crawford. Do what? It's not? Is it up now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, you must have a little bit of a delay there. Um, remember, I'm out in the, in the wilderness up here with the cows and the bugs. I don't know. All right, so the Lone Star degrees are a culmination of three years in FFA. In addition to that, they are required to have at least 25 hours of community service. They have to have a minimum of 10 um, activities above the chapter level. Um, and they also have to have um, either invested over a, or earned over $1,000 in a um, entrepreneurship or have how many hours is it in placement? 300. 300 hours in, in placement. Uh, so these are the really the big, just amazing um, accolades that can be earned in FFA. We are so proud of these students who have achieved the Lone Star degree. Currently, um, all of these uh, Lone Stars have passed the um, area degree check and we are waiting on the state degree check. Um, but uh, Ms. Winters, do you wanna go ahead and read those names out of our Lone Star degrees? Sure thing. So um, your Lone Star degrees this year and um, Dr. Peterfield, Dr. Porterfield, and uh, Ms. Crawford have all both said that this is huge that we have this big of a group of Lone Stars. So be very proud of these people. But uh, Mary Angelique Arroyo Ruiz, Woo! Julia Bravo, Chance Curtis, Tiger Lily Dickey, Stella Harris, Isabella Kangle Fitz, 
Kylie O'Brien Dutton, Angel Rodriguez, Angelisa Shannon, Bradley Watson, and Presley Winstead are all your Lone Star degrees. Woohoo! Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! Okay, so, all right. All right. Next. So, proficiency awards. These are uh, awards that are given for outstanding SAEs. Um, and again, this is something that is done in the AET record book. Applications that have to be uh, completed, filled out, submitted, and then are judged by a panel of judges. Um, you'll notice that we as a chapter had five proficiency award winners um, from our chapter. We had Armando Molina, who was our poultry production uh, proficiency award winner. Then small animal production was Julia Bravo. Sheep production was Stella Harris. Specialty animal production was Beatrice Binker. And then veterinary science was Tiger Lily Dickey. Again, you'll notice next to each name, it will indicate if they were a, 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 a winner in a different division. Armando, Julia, Beatrice, and Tiger all won the district. Um, and Tiger Lily also won the area and is advancing to state. So we are very, very proud of these five individuals. And so we need to give them a round of applause and just tell them that we're so excited for you guys especially Tiger, we're really pulling for you and we really hope that um, you win the state uh, proficiency in vet science. So it'll be super exciting. Yeah, I do want to tell you that Stella's sheep production proficiency was very good, okay? But you've got to realize that there's a senior in the, air, the district that we um, compete in who has, um, is very tough to beat with the sheep production. So Stella, we competed very well against um, Rachel Bradford from Troy, but Rachel has, she has just a lot of sheep stuff that she does. So it, um, it was a tough competition for Stella. And so, but we're very proud that she put forth that um, application. Absolutely. All right, next. Go ahead, Miss Winters. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't see it yet. I'll wait for it to come through. <laughs> okay. So every year, um, Crawford and I have, uh, I wouldn't call it a bet, but we have a discussion about the juniors that are going to be coming up into her class for the senior year. And, um, we always talk about her best friend and who's gonna, who's gonna be the closest to her. And so, um, we always have this award called the tiger stripes and leopard spots. And this young lady that you see on the screen um, has, I mean, I think it happened at the interviews for the clinic placement last year. Um, something clicked and all of a sudden she was just on it. I mean, she was um, the first choice of like four or five clinics. She started in the summer and worked really hard towards her hours. She got into class and into KCC FFA and um, did her rabbits, made sale with both of them at Colleen. Um, did the rabbits at BCYF by herself because all of us were at the goat show. Um, she has just totally um, done an outstanding job this year. And so um, the most improved Tiger Stripes Award goes to Julia Bravo. Yay, Julia! Yay, Julia! Way to turn it around, girl. Good job. All right. Next. <laughs> all right. The next award is called the MVM Award, or Most Valuable Member. And this is someone who, uh, you know, is like team captain, is encouraging everybody else, is there for setup, there for the event, there for teardown. This uh, MVM person is, is someone that is just always willing to help. Uh, just jump in. What can I do? What can I do to help? What do you need, Miss Winters? What do you need, Miss Schwartz? What do you need, Miss Crawford? What do you need, Miss Granado? And so our most valuable member award this year goes to Bradley Watson. Woo! Yay, Yay, Bradley! I would like to also mention that Bradley is going to be representing our chapter next year as a district officer. 
So that is super oh, yeah. awesome. And we are so excited that Bradley is uh, representing our chapter as that district officer. Congratulations. Yay. Awesome. Woo All right. The next award is called the MVP award, but not most valuable player. This is the most valuable parent. Um, this one, um, Sarge is just, he is always helping with whatever needs to be helped. He will stay for hours and help with, um, shearing goats, whether it's for his student or not. Um, and at the shows, he's always helping us getting things, helping us load, unload. He's just, he has been our most valuable parent for the while that he's there with Jaden. And now he's with Carson, who you see in the photo there. So. He's our MVP. Yay. 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 Thank you, Mr. Ingalls. Thank you. He's pretty great. He was, uh, when Melanie went missing at the Bell County show, he was the first one to jump on top of it and go get announcers to try and call her over. And, you know, obviously we found her, but man, he was super helpful with that. So he definitely deserves this. Awesome. All right. Um, what's the next one up? The junior mm. FFA recognition. So we, oh, go ahead. So we have several junior FFAers in our um, chapter, and I just wanted to make sure that we recognize that they also are participating in doing things. Um, so, uh, Ms. Crawford, do you want to announce the names and what they yeah. did? I sure will. So Elizabeth Coleman, who had market goats, she got fourth at BCYF and made the sale, which was pretty awesome for her first year. Uh, she was also uh, participated in the Vet Science Skillathon and got third place. So yay, Elizabeth. Um, Carson, uh, who you saw a picture of just a minute ago, uh, had market goats this year and got fourth and also participated in the Vet Skillathon. Uh, Madeline Lim, uh, participated in the vet skillathon, as well as her little sister uh, Raylene. Uh, they both uh, participated on that team. Uh, and then we have Rayanna Molina, who this is her last year as a junior FFA member. Uh, she is coming up to the big leagues next year as a freshman, so we're excited about that. Uh, but as you can see, Rayanna had lots of placings with her breeding goats, uh, got third with her market goat at Colleen, and several different placings with her chickens. Uh, she had the reserve champion quilt at Bell County and then uh, had second place pie and second place cookies there at Clean as well. So we're real excited for these kids to do the things that, they are, uh, that they're going to be doing when they get to high school. So that's awesome. Coda said yay too. Coda said yay too. Um, and then unfortunately, you know, at, most of the time at our big end of the year banquet, we spend a lot of time looking at uh, LDE, CDE, SDE recognitions. This year, with the way that things went, we only got LDEs in, and that's okay. Um, we still did a lot in that one uh, one period of time. So I'm really, really excited about the way that our teams did. We managed to bring home three banners um, there. Um, so pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, do you want to just really quickly? I guess we'll just announce the the teams and their placings. And you can sure. see the names. Um, our ag advocacy team got second in district uh, and advanced to area and got eighth in area. Our public relations team got third in district. Our senior ag skills got third as well. And then our radio broadcasting got fifth. So congratulations to all these teams. That's wonderful. Um, I'm not sure. Stacy, did you put a slide on about talent? No, because I was trying to wait to see if we got results, but we didn't. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Well, we don't have a slide for the talent, but for the 2019 talent contest, we had the district talent winner, Tiger Lily Dickey, won first place in our, in our Syntex district contest with her uh, Polynesian dancing and fire uh, twirling. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty awesome. I have a video. I'm going to see if I can share it with you guys. Um, and so she just competed this week in the virtual area talent contest. And we're still awaiting um, to find out if she won and if she'll compete at the state level. So again, if she wins, we'll post it on Facebook. We'll post it on our mind and let you know about that. Are you going to share the video? 
Uh, I don't, I guess I could, but I will do that in just a minute after we get done because I will have to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready to share that video. Um, okay, so the last slide that we have is announcing of our officer team for next year. Um, I just want to tell you how elections went down and how they occurred. If you did not vote, shame on you because we texted <laughs> you about a thousand times. You should have gotten a remind, an email, a Schoology update. We sent it every which way we could multiple times to get people to vote. Um, and we, we did the best that we could with what we had. Let me tell you how officer elections work this year. The popular vote was worth 50% of their total score. They also had to take a quiz. They had to submit two letters of recommendation. And then they also had to have their applications scored by three of the four of the ag teachers. I will just tell you that I did not score any of the applications this year uh, because my son was running. Um, so Miss Crawford took herself out of the, of, the, of the game, but it was so close. It, I mean, I have never seen an election in points this close and I'm just super proud of the kids and how they, um, how they did and thank you so much for those of you who voted. Uh, next year's president uh, is going to be Armando Molina. Yay. Our vice president is going to be Bradley Watson. Our secretary for next year is going to be Stella Harris. Our treasurer will be Ashley Charles. Our reporter is Skyly Flores. Yeah. Our sentinel is Paige Bridenstein. And our historian is going to be Brianna Brooks. Everybody, yeah. congratulations. Congratulations. Woohoo. Okay. Yeah. So, with that being said, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, just want to tell you guys, congratulations on all your hard work. Um, if you're graduating, I wish that I could have had the opportunity to give you my going away speech and uh, to let you know all of the things that I have to say to you. I'm going to take this up. I'm not going to give the whole speech now because we have people who aren't seniors on here, but I will tell you this, that you need to remember a few things as you go out there. And if you don't remember anything else that I taught you, remember this, that you have value. Okay. You have value and that even no matter what happens as you go forward and you may think that, you know, things are bad, things are tough. You need to remember that even if you don't think and the world is against you, you need to remember that we love you and that we are rooting for you in all the things that you do. And so we just want to wish you good luck and tell you King, that we are so proud of you and we are so thankful that we got the opportunity to be um, your teachers and that you got to be in our program. And um, with that, I just, I'm going to go ahead and say that we love you. And Dr. Porterfield, is there anything that you need to add? Just very proud of y'all. Great job this year. Yes. Uh, Ms. Winters, you want to say anything before we close? Um, I love you guys, and I'm looking forward to next year. But I think that we went out with a bang this year with everything, all the challenges that we faced at the end of the year. And I just think that y'all have done an amazing job. All right, Ms. This Sports. is Sports, and I am so proud of y'all, and I love every one of you. All right, Ms. Granado, you want to bring it up? I do. Um, guys, you know, this is my first year with y'all, and um, it was a very challenging year indeed. We did not expect things to go the way that they did. Um, I feel like I lost a lot of great opportunity and time that I could have spent with y'all, but I don't regret any second, and I feel like we really got to know each other, that we got to have a great time, and I want you all to know that I am so proud of every single one of you, and just because you weren't in my class and necessarily one of my students does not mean that I did not get to know who you are, and I am proud of every single accomplishment that all of you have made, so congratulations. I will miss you. 
All right, last round of applause, everybody. All right. Thank you so much for attending our Zoom. And be looking, for, um, be looking for some updates on the state uh, kids that we have going to state. So love y'all.